Hi, my name is Peter Schmidt. I'm a consultant within the Microsoft Dynamics CRM team. In this video, I'm going to show how to use Power BI to combine some multi-currency data from CRM with some exchange rate data to build a set of reports uh, that show the data in uh, US dollars. So here's my list of opportunities in CRM, and you can see they're in a variety of different currencies. So to get this information into Power BI, I'm going to start up Power BI Desktop. I'm going to select my Dynamics CRM online as my source and then enter some credentials to connect to my instance of CRM online. So it's going to ask me to log in using my organization credentials. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. So just while I'm logging on, I need to explain that uh, Dynamics CRM has more than 270 uh, different entities that you uh, can connect to um, and what it does is actually groups these into sets to make it a little bit more manageable uh, so when you actually first connect and sign into the system it actually pulls back that list of entities including the custom entities from the system it takes a while to load up the entities so I've cut that from uh, the video um, but what I need to do now is select the set so I'm going to pick my uh, account sets my opportunity set and my transaction currency set and then once I've picked these I then want to click on the edit button because I need to then uh, tweak the queries um, to pull back just the columns of data that I require using the remove columns button I'm going to get rid of the columns that I don't need so that I'm just left with the three currency name, ISO currency code and transaction currency ID. And I'm just going through now uh, and renaming them to currency, currency code and currency ID. And I'll also change the name of my query from to uh, currencies. Once I've done that, uh, I then do a similar thing to my account set. So again, first thing I'm going to go through and do is remove the columns that I don't want. Now to save some time I've actually done this query before and I'm going to paste that in uh, using the advanced editor uh, so that I'm just down to account ID, account and country and again I'm going to rename the query to uh, accounts and then finally I'm going to go to my opportunity set and again edit down the columns until I'm left with the following. You'll see that four of the columns uh, contain the word record and that indicates that uh, I need to go through and pick uh, a value from the related records uh, to include in my query results. So using the expand button uh, in the column header, I'm going to go through and select the value that I wish to uh, return in my query here. For my parent account ID and transaction currency ID columns, I want to return the IDs so that I can link them to my accounts and currency tables. And for my status code and forecast columns, I want to return the values. Now I only want to return open opportunities and I happen to know that the value one represents that. So if I right click on the cell containing one, select number filters equals one, uh, I can then uh, filter my results and then I no longer need the status code value column so I'm going to select that and remove it from my query. As before I'm just going to go through and rename my columns to uh, meaningful names for the business users so account ID, currency ID, uh, and forecast and I'm going to rename my uh, query to opportunities. Uh, and once I've done that, I can click on close and apply and my data will be pulled back into my Power Pivot model. When I click on the relationships button, you'll see that my three queries have been returned as separate tables and Power BI has been smart enough to create relationships between them because the column names are identical. So I now want to go and get some exchange rate data and I'm going to use the xe.com website and you see it has a nice little table uh, on the home page showing uh, live exchange rates. So if I go back to Power BI and again select data and this time select web as my source and enter the uh, the web address www.z.com and Power BI will then look through and see if it can find any tabular data and sure enough it's found this table zero 
um, which has got the information I want. Um, so I'll select that and again I'll select edit. So there's a, a few things that I need to do. The first thing is I only really want the first row of data because I want the conversion rates to US dollars. So I'm going to right click and uh, filter on that value. Uh, I then don't need the first two columns. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is actually unpivot my data. So I'm going to select the USD column and then uh, unpivot it. Uh, again, I don't need the USD column anymore, so I can get rid of that one. And then finally, I'm just going to rename my column headings to currency code and to exchange rate. And I'll rename uh, my query to exchange rates. And then close and apply, and that data will get pulled into the model. Now, this time, uh, Power BI has actually got the join wrong, um, but it was the only table that contained uh, a column called currency code, but I don't want that join. So I'm going to select it and delete it, but I actually want it to join to my opportunities table. And so therefore I need to create uh, a currency code column in that. So I'm going to go into my model and add a new column and then enter the following formula, currency code equals related currencies currency code and that will do a look up to my currency code table and create that new column for me and then I can uh, join my exchange rates to that column. Whilst I'm on this screen I'm just going to go through and hide the various ID columns uh, from reports because uh, I'm not don't want to display these and so I want to keep the report model as simple as possible for my uh, business users. Now, having done that, uh, I'm going to go back to my opportunities table and I'm going to create uh, a calculated column that then works out my exchange rate in US dollars. So uh, go back to opportunities table, insert a new column and then enter uh, the following formula. So forecast in USD. Now I need to put an if statement in that says if the opportunity is uh, already in USDs then I just return the forecast value. Otherwise I need to uh, divide the forecast value by the exchange rate in the related exchange rates table. And that's what this formula, this DAX expression does here. I now uh, just want to go through and format that data. So at the moment it's a decimal number. Uh, I just want to say that the format is uh, to display it as a currency in US dollars. So I select that and I don't need the decimal places. So I'm just going to get rid of those as well. Final thing I'm going to do is add a measure into the system. Uh, to work out my total. So I click on a new measure and say total forecast in USD equals sum of forecast, opportunities forecast in USD. So with my report model done, I can now go and create my reports. So I go to the report canvas and I start to uh, build out my report. So uh, first of all, I'm going to create a table of my opportunities. So for that, I need to select the account uh, the name of the opportunity and then uh, its currency and the forecast in that currency and then I'm also going to add in uh, the forecast value uh, uh, in US dollars. So once I've selected those I'm just going to resize that table so I can display it. For my next report, I'm going to show uh, where my customers are located and plot the value of those opportunities on a map. So if I put the country field onto the canvas, Power BI is clever enough to work out that that's uh, a geographic value um, and therefore displays the data on the map. And again, I put the total value in USD and now I can see on a map uh, where my opportunities are. And then for the final thing I want to do is uh, I want to uh, show what uh, the exposure is to the business to different currencies. So again, I'm going to select the currency uh, value 
and my forecast value in, in that currency. And I'm going to display that as a line chart and then uh, show that uh, as a nice little bar chart there. And there you go. That's my reports done. Now, the great thing about having built my report in Power BI is if I need to update it, I can just click on the refresh button. And it will go and get the latest opportunities data and exchange rate data and display that for me. Thanks for watching.